Hi, I'm Lee McDonald. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists here at South Denver Cardiology in Denver, Colorado. All right, so one of the things um, that a procedure that is growing is a procedure called MitraClip. There are several different valves in the heart, four of them actually. Um, the mitral valve is one of the important valves that blood passes through. The f purpose of a valve is to open up and let blood pass from one chamber to the next chamber and then for the valve to close and make it so the blood can't leak backwards. This is a key portion of how your heart functions. Without heart valves, your heart would not work. Valves are made out of biologic tissue and they are amazing. The fact that they can open and close repeatedly every second of every minute while your heart, while your heart is working is absolutely amazing. One of the uh, valves, the mitral valve though, can develop a problem where blood can leak backwards. If blood leaks backwards, it can eventually leak backwards and basically end up going back towards your lungs and end up leaving you with symptoms from fluid buildup in your lungs, shortness of breath, heart failure, and other terrible things like that. The MitraClip procedure is a procedure that we can use for some patients who have a leaky mitral valve to try and help them uh, and repair that valve. So mitral regurgitation, which is where that mitral valve leaks blood backwards, many people can have a mild leak or a trivial leak and those can be, your heart tolerates those very well. People live with those for long, long periods of time. In fact, if you're watching this video and you have, a, have heard that you have mild mitral regurgitation or something like that, many times that is not a significant problem. Many people live with a mild leak. We grade it though, if it gets worse, we can sometimes say it's moderate, or if it gets to the point where it's severe, we start to become more concerned. People with severe mitral regurgitation many times will develop symptoms. Symptoms, the symptoms include coughing, shortness of breath with activities, um, sometimes even uh, types of, you know, they can develop heart failure, leg swelling, things like that. And those are things that we want you to discuss with your physician, uh, discuss with your cardiologist, and those are things that could be a sign of severe mitral regurgitation. For most people with um, severe mitral regurgitation, the treatment oftentimes is an open surgery, a surgery where we can actually go in there and repair the valve or even replace it. There are a group of patients, and this, the number of, is growing, who can actually go through this special procedure called a mitral clip, where we are able to clip the leaflets together through a small um, IV in your leg, which can help treat and prevent the valve from regurgitating or leaking um, without open heart surgery. So let's specifically talk about MitraClip. MitraClip is a procedure that can be done, it's done through a small tube in the leg where we can go up and we can actually find the mitral valve and we can clip the leaflets together because they're not coming together. Um, that clip then prevents the valve from leaking backwards. So this is a, um, a procedure again that we call percutaneous where, where it is done through the skin. There is no cutting. This is a model of a heart that has been cut out and you can see this pink thing right here is the mitral valve. You can see where this white thing is. It's actually really just a very sophisticated clip that actually clips the tips of the leaflets together so that it doesn't, the valve does not leak backwards. And you can see behind me a close-up view of one of the clips where the leaflets can basically come in between the two white um, parts of the arm there. And these, this clip is then left behind holding the leaflets together um, to prevent the, again, the blood from leaking backwards. The heart is one of the most important organs in the body, working relentlessly to enable the human cardiovascular system to function. The heart has four chambers, the upper right and left atria, and the lower left and right ventricles. In a healthy heart, blood flows in one direction through the heart's chambers. Delicate tissue-like structures called valves function to ensure unidirectional blood flow within. The heart has four such valves, which regulate direction of the blood flow. The mitral valve separates the left atrium from the left ventricle and is made up of two thin flexible flaps called leaflets. 
When freshly oxygenated blood from the lungs returns to the heart, it enters the heart through the left atrium. Left atrium relaxation causes the mitral valve to open, enabling blood to travel into the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracts, the mitral valve closes to prevent backflow. In some people, the mitral valve doesn't close tightly, causing mitral valve regurgitation. When the heart beats during contraction, the blood from the left ventricle can flow back up to the left atrium. Mitral regurgitation, MR, can be subdivided into functional and degenerative subtypes. Degenerative MR, or primary, results from anatomical abnormalities of the valve itself. In most cases, the cordae connecting the mitral valve to the papillary muscle rupture or elongate, causing leaflet prolapse. MR is a progressive disease which, if left untreated, can initiate a series of events culminating in heart failure and death. Current guidelines recommend surgical mitral valve repair or replacement in severe MR patients. For MR patients for whom surgery is not an option, minimally invasive procedures are available. MitraClip is a unique, highly maneuverable transcatheter system for mitral valve repair. This procedure avoids cardiopulmonary bypass using minimally invasive venous approach. And transeptal puncture to gain access to the left atrium. Mitroclip steerable guide catheter is introduced over a previously placed guide wire. The dilator is used to gradually advance the guide into the left atrium and the guide wire and dilator removed. The clip delivery system is advanced into the left atrium, positioning the clip above the regurgitant jet and perpendicular to the mitral valve plane. Inside the left atrium, the clip arms are open to 180 degrees and positioned perpendicular to the line of coaptation before crossing into the left ventricle. The clip is advanced into the left ventricle below the valve leaflets and retracted to grasp the leaflets. Mitroclip grippers are designed to drop firmly into the clip arms, securely capturing both leaflets. Once the arms are closed, they create a double orifice within the mitral valve. Prior to clip deployment, echocardiographic imaging is used to assess procedural efficiency and leaflet capture. Prior to deployment, the mitroclip can be released and repositioned for optimal MR reduction. Once achieved, the clip is released and the full system retracted. In most cases, the transeptal puncture reseals itself and tissue ingrowth between the clip arms increases, facilitated by the polyester clip covering, which promotes healing to create a fibrous tissue bridge between the leaflets. The mitroclip procedure is a minimally invasive, highly effective treatment option for select patients with severe MR. Right now, MitraClip is reserved for a small subset of patients who have a mitral valve that is dysfunctional um, where we can clip the leaflets together, people who are not good candidates for surgery. But over the last few years, a couple of very important trials have come out and showed that many people with heart failure who have a weakened heart muscle and who have significant severe mitral regurgitation that they benefit from the mitral clip. And this is a huge um, you know, thing for us now to, discuss, to find these patients who have severe mitral regurgitation and who have heart failure and um, offer them the mitral clip because we've been able to show that they have an increased survival benefit and we decrease the chances that they're going to have symptoms and hospitalizations from heart failure. So one of the new exciting things um, that we're really trying to target these patients and find them is because we now have a therapy can th that can really improve their outcomes, the MitraClip for these patients with severe mitral regurgitation and heart failure. So after you go home, many patients are able, because it was a procedure that was done percutaneously, are able to get back to normal living. And many of them significantly feel better because in, rather than blood leaking backwards into their lungs, the blood is now moving forward, which is what we want. It's moving forward out to their body. So people feel fairly well. There's usually a, a, a check by 
um, from the patient with the physician a week or a month later. And most people recover quite quickly. Obviously, patients who've had this procedure, we follow closely, uh, but the recovery time is very short. The um, mitral clip, in summary, is a fantastic new procedure. It, it, is offer, it gives us the ability to take care of some of these patients who really were unable to be cared for before. In addition, there is a lot of excitement for the group of heart failure patients with severe mitral regurgitation that the mitral clip will not only help them live longer, but it'll keep them out of the hospital and feeling better. At South Denver Cardiology, our structural program is one of the leaders in the state. We're very proud of it and um, excited about offering this to our patients um, that have significant mitral regurgitation and have this problem.